Hello besties, welcome to another vlog! I am in the road, in the road, on the road. I'm in the road. Hopefully not. I'm starting out this, yes well. Welcome to high quality content. We are in the car on the road and this is a jumpy road and we're with the dogs, they're in the back, I don't know if you can see them. We're going on a road trip, we're going on an adventure. about this for one main reason and that is that we are actually our first stop is going to be to visit my friend heather austin you know her and but she doesn't know that we're coming so i have been planning and plotting with her husband so we are actually we are outside of dallas uh, somewhere near the border to arkansas right now and we are heading uh, to memphis uh, and just surprising her it's going to be amazing but i haven't really been able to talk about this on my channel and be like, why wasn't there a vlog last week? Why have I been really bad at answering comments? It's because I've been literally working like 14, 16 hours a day trying to get all the pre filled bullshit out before I leave and not spoiling the surprise for Heather. So it's been a lot, it's been a lot. But now we're on the road and we are taking you along with us. We are heading to Memphis, then Nashville, then Asheville, then New Orleans, and then we're heading back via probably Baton Rouge and then back to Austin. So we're gonna be gone for a while, so I'm gonna take you along. This is the first time that we're doing a road trip and I'm, I'm excited. And yeah, we brought the dogs, so hopefully this will be an okay vlog. And if not, don't tell me. <laughs> that I am here in Heather's beauty room. This is so cool. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday, but honestly, we just hung out. Look at how fancy this equipment is. Damn, she's better hooked up than me. This is incredible. She's here. Hello. <laughs> it's how me. It's me, Mario. <laughs> how surprised on a scale of one to 10 were you when I walked through your door last night? 75. <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I I literally I guess I told some people that I was going, but I was like, don't nobody say anything, nobody say anything. No. No. It was exciting. <laughs> yes, and you're lucky. My house is pretty clean because I had been sick, you know, a week ago. Yeah, so I, know. I had to clean. I and mean, we even said that me and Ricardo were like, well, if she's gonna be sick, at least it's good that she's sick. Now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But you are going to show me around. Show me yes. Memphis. We're going to Memphis. We're mm -hmm. going to do barbecue. Mm -hmm. We're going to see the Mississippi River. We're going to do Bill Street. We're going to... It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. I'll bring you along, but I am going to avoid showing like too much of your house mm -hmm. because this is like... She lives here. Yes. <laughs> Wildlife yes. and fishing shop. All in yes, yes. <laughs> it was, I was trying to describe it to her. I'm yeah. like, 
I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's look, an experience. We brought the doggos and of course like the doggos and your family. Everyone gets to come in. So now everyone's looking at the fish, including the doggos. Yeah, and we're gonna see alligators, American alligators. The dogs do not get to look up front on those. No, no, no. <laughs> look at them. Are you enjoying the wildlife? Are you enjoying the wildlife? Oh, are you happy you got to come on a little road trip? Yeah. It is Sunday and we're just taking the doggies to a park so that they can run a little bit before we get into the car mm -hmm. to go to Nashville because we're going to Nashville. Yeah, yeah she's leaving today. Oh. oh, I'm so sad, but you're gonna have so much fun seeing some other stuff. I mean, I've been in the US for eight months and I've seen you three times. I know, right? That's more than my family. <laughs> hopefully a few times next year too. Yeah, of course, of course. But from here to Nashville, it's a very pretty drive. Mm -hmm. So y'all will enjoy it. We'll look forward to it. Mm -hmm. And it's a little cloudy today. I think that's pretty good, especially for the dogs. Yeah, it's not so hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at them. It's very green here. I will say mm -hmm. that this state reminds me a little bit more about like Sweden. Yeah, I will say it's so, it is pretty here. Mm -hmm. I really like where it we live. It really is. It reminds me a little, like, of course, there are different trees and different all that, but like yeah. the, overall, the it's very green. Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> have left the Austin family and Memphis and now we are heading to Nashville. That's gonna be exciting. I've never been I've never been to any of the places that we're going to but nope. we had an amazing time at the Austin family and we are coming back. We are planning to come back. So yeah this is it's raining a little bit right now which is honestly not the worst of ideas. I think the dogs fell asleep already. Is that a dog head? Yeah, might be Kaisa sitting down there. But yeah, they've played a lot with Atlas and just been running around and I, I think they're gonna be sleeping all the way to Nashville if I'm gonna be honest. But I'm excited. Excited to see Nashville. It will be fun. It will be fun. <laughs> so far hmm was it okay to sleep on the rug is that okay mm, not quite as comfy as this one are you the comfiest dog in the world oh, you've been sleeping in the bed mm. Mm. how did that happen are you jealous a little bit Okay, officially welcome to Tennessee. We just went outside of Nashville to leave the doggies on a farm for like a day of daycare so that we can walk around the city on our own because they were really warm when we were in Memphis. So I think that honestly... Take the next ride toward Tennessee 100 Lady. East. Then turn right onto Tennessee 100 East. 
you're interrupting. Honestly, I think they're gonna have a great time. That farm was beautiful. Listen, when I'm a millionaire, I'm buying a farm like that. Turn right onto Tennessee 100 East. I swear. Sweetie, interrupting. Did not, mom not tell you that's not a good thing? Let me tell you, so far, Tennessee is beautiful. Like, it is so pretty out here, especially when Continue you get out. on Tennessee 100 East for seven miles. Especially when you get out of it, like it's so pretty out here. It's like super organized farms and just so green and pretty. I mean, we have a lot of farms in Sweden as well, but they're not usually as pretty and organized as the one outside, ones outside here of Nashville are. So I would say so far 10 out of 10. quite some time looking for the entrance to this bridge like literally walked around and our car is here we just did not take this way what do we call this oopsies <laughs> oopsies that's what we call it oopsies We are at uh, Warner Park. Warner Parks. Percy Warner Park. Mm -hmm. Our good babies have been at the farm all day. Apparently, they have been well behaved. So now we are taking them here. It's been raining, but it's not raining right now. <laughs> but we're taking them here to have a little walk and for us to see this park. It's closing in an hour and a half, so it's going to be a short one. And I guess we're heading back to the hotel and maybe find some dinner. I guess these are going to be sleeping really good today. We are heading out today. We're heading to some kind of um we're going to Asheville and we're going through I think it's the Smoky Mountains and we are gonna stop at some kind of a oh my god they're so dark that's better some kind of a park where we can go with the dogs. It's a little bit not odd because I don't think it's odd but it's different that there is a lot of places outdoors where dogs are not allowed in the US which for me is very different because i'm not used to that at all like i get it with like keep your dogs on a leash pick up after your dog like that makes sense but like not allowing them at all that you don't really see 
I've never seen that at least in Sweden let me know if that is something that's common in your country if you're living in Europe and not in Sweden that you're not allowed to bring your dog even on a leash outdoors because I will say that that is unusual I haven't seen it before but it's very common in the US like it's so common it's like more common than uncommon if I'm gonna be honest uh, I've been feeling I've probably been the worst travel companion ever because I've my mental health has been a little bit shaky um, and it's show I I'm it's shown I have a problem with my stomach and I've had such cramps in my stomach because of stress these past like 48 hours right now I'm not feeling it I'm hoping I'm not gonna feel it after breakfast I don't know and yeah, I'm just overall not doing the best right now and I feel like the worst travel companion ever I mean, I, I, at some parts, I did bring this on myself, making stupid decisions, being naive, signing stuff you shouldn't be signing. And now I feel like I can't really back out of it. Like, I don't want to be sued. Not trying to be sued. But yeah, this is, this is the first job I've ever had where when you make a mistake, it's going to make you, like, actually lose sleep, affect your mental and your physical health. And I will say, I don't know if it's worth it. These past two days have been the first time I've ever thought like, so what am I going to do after this? Because I can't do this again. I can't go through this again. I had a, I don't know what to call it. It wasn't a panic attack. I said I don't have panic attacks, but just a breakdown yesterday, like out outdoors in the middle of Nashville. And I felt so bad for Ricardo, but I just, I don't know, snapped, broke down crying just laying on a parking lot and it's not it's not pretty and i don't really know if i should be sharing this but like i want to be honest with you life isn't always just roses and going on vacations and you know working for yourself being self-employed um right now i am definitely feeling like i probably should start thinking about what i'm gonna do after this because I don't think I would make it through another mistake like this. And no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm trying my best. And sometimes we mess up. But yeah, just the feeling like you don't know what you can do. And if you can do something, like I said, I'm trying not to get sued. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't foresee see my s I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel in a couple of weeks but right now I'm just like yeah it's not worth it it is not worth it anyways maybe my mental health will be less shaky in a couple of days who knows but yeah I feel bad for Ricardo he didn't sign up or maybe he did for better or worse this is definitely for worse but he's been a trooper and the dogs have been cuddly but yeah I'm off for breakfast and then we're heading to I think it's the Smoky Mountains am I lying to you I hope not.
we have been passing through the Smoky Mountains all day. Look, look, we're having like a little afternoon sunlight. Uh, we found this place where there actually is a trail. I told you before that you can bring your dogs. So we're just gonna walk around here for maybe half an hour or something, and then we're gonna head. Where? What is the way called? The road? Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge Parkway. Apparently, it's supposedly it's a beautiful, beautiful road. So we're taking that to Asheville. And then tomorrow we're meeting Ricardo's friend for, I'm not entirely sure what you have planned, but just hanging out as a friend that Ricardo's met through computer gaming. So, so far it's looking really beautiful. And as you've seen the view and like just how the Smoky Mountains look, it's beautiful. 10 out of 10 would recommend you just to drive through if you have the opportunity, honestly. Tesla, you're not usually a swimming dog. Are you running away from us? Are you leaving us? What is this? What is this? You think I'm going in with you? Oh, are you coming too? Really? Really? Tesla. Honey, babe. I don't think we're going for a swim. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Oh boy. Oh, uh, oh boy. Take a train ride just to see you Ride for hours just to please you You don't know how much I need you Cause you're my home away from home away from home away from almost dark we are at oh there's a little bunny i don't know if i can show you wait there's the bunny i think they see it do you see the bunny kaisa you see the bunny <laughs> uh what was this called frying pa pan mountain lookout mm -hmm. overlook mm -hmm. place place him a thing am i even in focus that's a firm no there there we go okay so it's just a lookout place it's just a little walk up this like gravel road it's gonna be the last thing we do in the smoky mountains before we head the last little while up to well down to it's gonna be to Asheville we're gonna reach there tonight we're just gonna see if we can see a little bit more of an overlook over the mountains from this Ricardo's friend told me told us that this was a good place to look and it's not quite sunset yet so we should have a little bit of daylight yet left <sighs> try to talk and walk at the same time see this is when you know that I should be exercising more dying why are you laughing <laughs> why are you laughing are you laughing Remember you love me, for better or worse, this is the ladder. <laughs> Welcome to Asheville. We came in last night and we just had pizza in a bed. <laughs> I watched some stupid TV show on the weather channel of all places. We were pretty tired, but so, just it was such a great day. It's so beautiful to just see a little bit of nature. But yeah, we're meeting a friend of Ricardo's in Asheville. I think he's taking us bar hopping. It's literally 11 o'clock in the morning. This is, this is where our day is gonna be. Ooh, darkness, eternal darkness. But we're getting coffee first at 
Rowan Coffee. I think it's here? Isn't it? Okay, coffee. Are you gonna go say hi to the piggy? Are you gonna go say hi to the piggy? She's like, I am not sure about this one. Oh, baby. <laughs> Is it a weird one? Oh, uh, oh, uh, is there? Oh, there's a little piglet. Oh, I can do this one. This is my size. It's snack size. You're such a weirdy, Kaisa. Oh, baby. <laughs> Apparently we're doing a brewery tour. What does it say? Burial. It's like lunchtime and I've had two beers. This is gonna be an interesting day. Doggos are here drinking some water in the shade. My makeup is so neutral today, but I brought some neutral uh, eyeshadow palettes that I'm in the process of reviewing. So I don't want to use them on my channel again because they're so neutral. But I still need to try them out a bit more. Did you like your beer? Yeah, it was fun. Fun? Try it. Was your beer fun? Yeah. What is this supposed to be? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like chocolate licorice. That's a firm no. Uh, firm no. This one is sour mango. That was nice. This was disgusting. <laughs> I've never, I've never been kissed by a Swedish dog. <laughs> All right. should not be vlogging after like three beers but we are at the Vanderbilt estate are you, are you sure you want yourself narrating this when you can have a proper redneck beer? I don't know if I want the proper redneck narrating this should I <laughs> honestly I'm just so excited that we're here seeing the house and we're able to bring the dogs uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of this but yeah we've been at like three breweries so take this whole tour with a grain of salt show
good morning it is the morning of leaving Asheville well it's not is it morning it's 11 we slept in listen we had beer yesterday we deserve to sleep in so we slept in a little bit and we are getting in the car soon we're just well we Ricardo in front of me just walking the puppers a little bit a little morning pooperuski and then we're heading in the car and we're heading down to Georgia so we are gonna stop in Georgia just for one night because uh, our <laughs> final destination for this trip I guess you could say is New Orleans and it is too far of a drive to do that in one day we already did that super long drive to Memphis that first day so we were like we don't want to do that again so we are stopping and we actually booked a hotel this morning I love being a little flexible I don't even know where we booked I think we booked in Columbia or Mont Montgomery I don't know I'll let you know once we get there we just booked something that allowed pets we're staying for one night I guess we're traveling through Georgia but it's nice to be on a little bit of a, <laughs> a road trip and not take things too serious it's really nice meeting Ricardo's friends yesterday as well I really hope that oh some people are able to come visit us in Austin as well while we are living there for a couple of years but yeah I haven't had my morning coffee yet so we're gonna stop at either a Starbies or just a Asheville is crazy or just some kind of a gas station just to get some coffee and a snack before we head down to Georgia but I'm excited. I don't think I've ever seen. I haven't seen much from Georgia at all, to be honest. I've heard that Georgia is beautiful and it's a beautiful state that a lot of people miss. That's what I've heard about Georgia. in Georgia at Dairy Queen. I've never had Dairy Queen. Never had Dairy Queen. This is my first go. Are you in a park? Are you in a park? Are you in a park too? We're sitting in the rocking chairs waiting for Ricardo. We are at Canyon State Park and it's really convenient. You can pay the park fee online. I love that. Oh, are you, be are you okay? So we're here. It's pretty late. We have like a one and a half hour of daylight left. So we thought since we were not passing by, but it's like really close to where we're staying tonight. I think we're staying in... Columbia? I don't... Is it Montgomery or Columbia? I'm not sure. But we are in Canyon State Park and we're just gonna take the dogs for an hour walk. You no, know, because it's been so boring in the car today. And just see a little bit of Georgia. And then we're heading... Um, and then we're heading to go just stay at the hotel, maybe get some dinner, just rest a little bit. Um, and I think that's gonna be it. Tomorrow we're heading to New Orleans. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but it was just too much driving to take in one day are you ready to see the, the trails <laughs> are you ready to see the trails mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay oh let's go see how beautiful this is we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright How are you feeling? Do you want to go in, puppies? Or are you okay? 
You want to go in or are you okay? Tesla was like, no, I am okay. Mm. Oh, that is so pretty. Guys, that's a cave dog. You're not? He's like, this, this, this wasn't my journey. Bye bye. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Okay, so if I ever wondered what a two-star hotel will bring you, now I've done. I've done an empirical study and I now know what you get for that. I'm not fairly impressed. I literally looked at the bathtub and I was like, no, I think I'll be cleaner not getting in that even if I do take a shower. So we're only staying here one night. It's totally fine. Like it's fine for staying one night. I don't want to be like picky or anything. And we did have two beds. So we did have one here and one here. So literally the dogs have been on one bed sleeping. They, this has been their favorite spot. They've been living their best life. And I also think, look, there's like a spot of blood here. Cause I had, look. I poked myself and then I bled on the pillow like a champ I mean they only added to the touch of this two star hotel I'm gonna be honest with you it was fine it was fine listen I am not this spoiled I really am not and I will say the dogs love this hotel because they've had a queen bed to themselves literally when we woke up this morning I swear both of the dogs lifted their head and looked at me and they're like so when can we get this arrangement home because Loving this whole queen bed thing. Have you been loving the queen bed? How guys have been loving it? How about Tesla? Tesla is waiting for Ricardo. Look at this. Look at this little sausage just waiting for Ricardo to come back. He went out with some things to the car and then we're heading out. I think we're five hours away from New Orleans. That is where we're going today. That is going to be the last stop where we stay over, I think. Hmm. <sighs> So we're driving, are we driving through Alabama today? Is that happening? I do not, listen, don't cancel me, but I don't know where the states are. Okay, so yes, we were in Georgia and now we're officially in Alabama. We were actually in like the city. In two miles, take the US 280 West US 431 North exit toward Opelika. That way. We're actually staying pretty much on the cusp to Alabama in Columbus. Have I been saying Columbia this whole time? If I have, excuse me, I'm confused. One confused blonde. Are you laughing at me? Are South America, North America. South yeah. America. It's not, it's not that deep. Uh, we are heading straight through Alabama. We're going to New Orleans. It's gonna take us about six hours. We need to stop and get coffee though because I am dying. I'm dying. So, coffee. Maybe we can get a little bit outside. I was gonna say outside the city. This wasn't really that big of a city, but we're on the road again. Welcome to New Orleans. Uh, oh, we found find some grass. Oh, is Kaiser gonna be able to pee? This, how many blocks did we walk to find this piece of grass? Eight. 
eight blocks. It's a rough life for a puppy. Oh, and she's like, finally, you can go potty. It's a poop fest. It's a poop fest? Sounds like a you problem. Okay, I'll help out. And then we need to go get something to eat. But so far, New Orleans. Oh, and I have blue eyeshadow on because why not? Good morning. Let me show you the aftermath of partying on Bourbon Street. It's not pretty. <laughs> Also, it is so humid that my camera keeps fogging together. But good morning! It is a full day in New Orleans for us. Um, the dog is all going to daycare again um, because me and Ricardo are doing something. Hi, baby, did you find something fun? Did you find something fun? Do you want me to move for the fun? Me and Ricardo are doing something that's been on my bucket list for a really, really long time and that is we are going on an airboat to do a swamp tour. I did one of these tours when I was in Everglades. Sweetie, it's just trash. You're not a trash doggo. And uh, I really liked it and they kept telling me, oh, if you ever get the opportunity to do this in like Louisiana, you really should because it's so different. Um, so I'm so excited that we're doing that. We're doing that today, just a quick two, two hour tour. I'm super excited and the doggos are gonna be on daycare, in daycare, in daycare. <laughs> oh look this little fountain. And tomorrow we're actually going home but we're stopping in Baton Rouge to have lunch with another friend of Ricardo's. So yeah, it's uh, the final stretch of a pretty long vacation. No honey, you can't sniff him, he's sleeping. Let him sleep. Okay. Now we're just trying to find some kind of a grass or anything where the dogs can pee pee. This town, I will say, I mean, it's not concrete, but there, it's not green. Let me just tell you that. We're almost at the spot. It's supposed to be raining all day today. Right now it's not raining. It was Take raining. Take the next right, then your destination will be on the right. That's right. It was raining like crazy before. Oh, airport boat tours. I'm excited. Oh, and I bought the only souvenir I wanted to buy. <laughs> the uh, Louisiana uh, Starbucks mug. Oh my God, this is, this is something.
I am so oily. It was really warm. I can't believe how lucky we were with the weather because look, it's raining again. We were so lucky with the weather. We could have been sitting there in pouring rain, but we weren't. So that was good. It was really humid though, and I am very dewy. Let's go with dewy and not greasy. So we are heading, oh my God, it's raining so much. We're heading to a restaurant now. We're gonna have some lunch. Oh my God, before we pick up the dogs. really raining you look a little like a wet beaver but we got the doggos they got a treat so they're back there eating a treat but oh my I am soaking wet it is very much raining and Kaisa doesn't like the wet so she doesn't like the rain so she refuses to pee when it's raining on her because Kaisa's a princess <laughs> will be fun okay we dare to go out again <laughs> the rain has stopped and we dare to go out we're just walking the puppies walking the pups and we're gonna go and see if we can get some bayonets because those are something that I really wanted to try while I was here it's the last thing on my bucket list I mean I don't need to see any of the horror or occult of New Orleans I just wanted to see the houses I wanted to see the swamp and I want to eat bayonets. Is it too much to ask? <laughs> oh, it's the poop patrol. But yeah, we're at, the, we're at the water now. I'm gonna see if I can show you a bit and then hopefully we'll get to the bayonet place. And hopefully no more rain. Oh, bless you. Bourbon Street is madness. It's like five o'clock. This is six o'clock maybe and people are like blackout drunk just dancing in the streets really loud. I feel too old for this, although I see that my age group is very much represented. But I'm just like, I'm, it's not my journey. It's not what I like to do. How about you? Are you like the go out and party kind of a person? I just feel like I'm not anymore. This is a lot of sugar and this is also very warm. I'm so excited. I think it's like crunchy dough crust, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit more like bready donuts. But these are very good. Yum. doing our little stop in Baton Rouge we are having uh, a little bit of a lunch with uh, another friend of Ricardo that he has met through gaming um, I think I told you we met him before so we're just having a little bit of lunch do you want me to close this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, there we go and uh, let me see if I can not show you my license plate not dox myself yeah so this is the place we're going to you see anything? Was it called Shimes? Shimes. Shimes, okay. We looked at the menu yesterday and it looked really nice, so I'm excited for lunch and then we are heading um, to Texas through Houston. We have one more stop on our trip before we just. One more stop. 
well one more stop do we want to see of course we need to pee the dogs and like pee ourselves but yeah just funny that you're counting buckies buckies is a stop we're seeing buckies don't judge me i'm getting a souvenir tourist. Did I just buy brisket sandwich? pecan cookies and a t-shirt with Bucky on it. A t-shirt? I did. Wow. I want a t-shirt, I want to have a t-shirt. Don't come for me. I will always come for you. Get me demonetized. We're so close to getting the vlog done. So close, so close. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I have no idea if this vlog is two hours long. And if it is, and you're still here, you're the real MVP. Okay, but yeah, I'll show you my t-shirt in another vlog. We are heading back home. How much does it take? One hour, 50 minutes, and we'll be back in Austin with the kitty. I'm sorry, could you be making a little bit more noise? Is it possible? Is, is, that, is that an option? Fine. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next vlog, which will hopefully not be every other week as it has been lately. A bitch has been busy. <laughs> Bye!